discussing our rabbit problem here at High Level Farm and how we take care of business. We take care of business. You have a very down earth voice. Do you, you, you ever think about being a radio announcer? No, no. <laughs> I'm just a red man. <laughs> I'm not a radio man. Alright, let's go. We're going to go take, take a ride in my truck. See, in all our trucks at Highland Hill Farm, we keep guns. Just in case we see a rabbit, a deer, or a groundhog, we shoot them. Shoot them on sight. Let's go. In the back, eh? Yeah. There you go. Get her in? Yeah. We've got quite a few farms here in Bucks County, and we've got nursery stock. And there's a lot of pathogens that uh, work on nursery stock, like bugs and deer and rabbits and mice. Well, people don't realize it, but the biggest killer of trees are mice and rabbits because they constantly have to gnaw their teeth, have to be chewing at all times. So they chew everything. They chew the trunk, they chew the bark. They'll chew anything. You put your finger out there, they'll chew that too, you know? So we gotta kill them. And we gotta make sure they all die. So we have a rabbit program where we let people come and hunt. You, know, you bring me something I can use on the farm, you can hunt rabbits a day, you know? I got people coming from Connecticut and all over to shoot my rabbits for me. That's good. So I can get rid of them. So we got a lot of them. Here we go. We're going to go take a look out in the field and see what we see. And as you can see, i got my gun handy here. This is my Browning. This is one of the guns that the government wants to ban because it shoots them automatic, semi-automatic. You know, you pull the trigger, a bullet comes out. That's good. Because sometimes you need a lot of shots. We shoot bird shot. No, no pumpkin balls, no, no buck shot. Just a little bird shot, seven and a half bird shot. I got it comes in a shell door. just about like that. Any chance we can keep uh, AC off just for Santa? Is that cool? Get to watch, watch, watch your window. Oh. I'll put that window down. No, no, no. Thank you. Perfect. We gotta keep the window open. Okay. In Bucks County alone, we have four farms down here where we let people hunt rabbits. And uh, we like to kill them all because they do do a lot of damage. The worst time of the season for rabbit damage is in the winter, and that's all also the hardest time to get them because you'd think it'd be easier to get them in the snow on the ground. Well, no, it's either nocturnal, they come out at night, and then they're harder to get. So, um, when you're talking, just look over and back at me if you can. It's a camera. Yeah. This sound gets better. Yeah. So, um, can you just give me the boring stuff of what what is your name and, and what, okay. what do you do? Yeah, my name is Bill Hurst. I'm here at Highland Hill Farm, Fountain Hill, PA. And I'll have to look this thing. Do that again. Is his guy need to be done in too? My name is Bill Hurst. We're here at Highland Hill Farm in Fountain Hill, PA. And on this farm, we raise a lot of nursery stock. We grow trees out in the field. We grow containerized stock. And we grow seedlings. So we have a lot of different kind of products. And the little bunny rabbits are out here in force. They live in these wet areas that we're coming up to down in here. And you'll see that you know, across this bridge here, and you'll see that there's a lot of prime habitat for rabbit. What is the prime habitat for rabbit? There it is, right there. It's wooded with brush, uh, gullies, places where groundhogs would build a groundhog hole so they can get back in and burrow under. Those will live up underneath the trees, and you'll see some trees up here in a minute. <clears throat> How do you feel when you when you think about a rabbit? I kill it. How do you, but how do you, do you like rabbits? Yeah, I used to raise rabbits, I used to eat them. Eat them? Oh yeah, I, rose, I raised rabbits when I first started the farm. My wife and I, we had rabbits. We, we, we would sell, sell some rabbits. See? We started off, you know, rabbit once a month, we'd eat it, you know? It got to be once a week. <laughs> it got to be three times a week. You know? It got to be a little bit more, you know? So I called my neighbor Charles. and said, Charles, I got a problem. <laughs> but say, he says, we got rabbits to kill. We killed 56 rabbits at one time. So I had 56 rabbits in my freezer. That's a little too many. But uh, down here, we're going to take you down here and show you some stuff down in here. And this is this is prime habitat out in here where these big trees are. These big trees, you know, the rabbits can get under them. And these are Christmas trees. And in this particular field, people come here during the Christmas time to do their cut tree. 
So we grow a lot of trees out here. And uh, the rabbits can bother these trees when they're this big, but don't do much damage. When the rabbits do more damage to the smaller trees, like something like, you know, six inches, a foot high, they can do a lot of damage. Now down here we're going to show you a deer treatment device that we have on the farm. We'll get out here and I'll show you about this device. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> is called a four-poster feeder. We have it here at Highland Hill Farm because we treat the deer that are here for lime tick. And when the deer come over here, there's a hopper here that has whole corn in it. And the whole corn falls down into this trough right here. And they eat it. And as they eat it, they rub up against these rollers, which are on spring, spring loaded. And they'll rub this up against their ears and neck and all. And as they do that, it treats them for the lime tick. Now this device is good for about a 40 acre parcel and it will treat the deer tick on that 40 acre parcel. The deer tick has an unusual life. In Pennsylvania it's a two year cycle from the time it's hatched as a larva to the time it's a, you know, a, a full grown arachnid, which is a, a, a spider, which is what a tick is. And the ticks can live up to 21 years. So you gotta kill them. It takes a while to eradicate a tick population. But this device treats deer and other small mammals like raccoons and possums and skunks that come to eat the corn. Also birds, and birds will land on it and they get treated too. All those animals, all the warm-blooded animals will carry the Lyme tiger. So this device helps treat them. And we've noticed a marked decrease in the number of ticks on this here farm. And it's, it's one of the things we want to do, not only because it makes the deer healthy, which we, we want, but it also helps us with our insurance on the premises. And that's because all our employees are covered by workman's comp. And if they get infected with the Lyme titer, it's a workman's comp disorder. So since we started to use this, our, our workman's comp claims have gone down, and our workman's comp premium has been dropped by $20,000 a year. So it's a good reason to have this little feeder. Now what I do is I let people that come and hunt here, I charge one person that uh, will hunt here with feeding the, the feeder. And we put whole corn in there, I have it shipped in from Walmart. It costs about $7.20 to have a 40-pound bag shipped in. That's delivered from Walmart, of all places. You think with all the corn farms around here, you get it cheaper. No, Walmart does it. $7.20 a bag, delivered to the site by UPS. We take it, we put it in this here device. It lasts about two weeks for one bag. And about every two weeks, we recharge the uh, paint roller here, which is what the gear rubs up against with Prithlon, and uh, it's a highly effective way of treating the deer tick. And if you want to hunt, you can shoot by it in Pennsylvania, but you have to sign a waiver. Can we go shoot a rabbit?